TJ Neal has been creating concrete sculptures for almost 40 years. With previous experience as a concrete contractor, iron worker, and plasterer, he has artistic street found ready expression using skills he had learned in the trades. Neil doesn't use molds to create these amazing figures, which can weigh thousands of pounds, but builds them from scratch using concrete, rebar, and wire lab. A former Marine, Neil says his sculptures have to be hauled on trailers all over the country over a lot of bad roads, so they have to be structurally sound to take a lot of punishment. The materials are applied using a hawk and several different sizes of trowels. Most of his concrete is mixed in different sized wheelbarrows. Some of the material he uses are three grades of sand, very coarse, medium, and very fine. Gravel stone from pea gravel to large, galvanized lath wire, rebar rods, Portland cement, and occasionally fibers. He colors the sculptures with stains and several kinds of latex paint. The process begins with an armature of rebar rods, then galvanized lath wire is tied onto the rebar. The base of the sculpture is 8 to 10 inches of solid concrete with rebar sticking up in the air and later bent into shape. Some parts are solid concrete, some hollow. The hollow areas still have 2 to 3 inches of concrete troweled in the lath wire and each layer is cured before the next layer is applied. After 7 to 10 days of curing, Neil applies fine sand using the finished coat of concrete. This is troweled on very tight for a smooth finish. After being hauled all over the country, the sculptures are then positioned, usually with a crane, and boomed into place. From football team mascots to city parks, T.J. Neal's work can be found all over the country. For more images of his work and for more information, you can visit his website at tjneal.com.